Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at five of my favorite smartphones. Now, if you watched the last video, I did five of my favorite smartphones, but there were a lot of phones that I couldn't fit in. So this is part two. But if you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe and get notified. But if you're already part of the crew, salute. Now today we're going to be taking a look at the Redmi Note 8 Pro. Now this device is really impressive. It has a 6.3 inch display. It also does have a Helio G90 processor, which is a gaming chipset. We do get facial ID on this device. Let me just show you how quick that works. So you can see that's really quick. Let me do that one more time. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Let's try the fingerprint sensor, which is actually on the camera module right here. We do get a triple camera set up. We'll get into that in a little bit more detail, but we do have Gorilla Glass um, for protection. Now that's pretty cool, Gorilla Glass 5 on here for you know budget device. Really nice to have that. You also do get this blazing fast fingerprint sensor as well as this um, pretty, pretty um, it's pretty good design language on this device you get a really large display 396 pixels per inch full hd on this device so the display is full hd now this is where we get our control center on the right side when you swipe down we get android 10 on here and we do get um pretty much the latest updates on this device so as you can see we do have the 12.2 update on here that is actually ready to download ready to go um, but this device will be getting a lot of updates we also get 64 or 128, depending on which model you get, of storage plus six gigabytes of RAM, which is really crazy. Um, the gyroscope for gaming, accelerometer, proximity sensor, light sensor, things of that nature. And this device is really good for gaming and things of that nature. So um, it does have a you know quad camera setup on the back, 64 megapixel, which is made by Samsung, and eight for wide angle. 2 megapixel for depth and 2 megapixel for macro. As this thing does have the G90, so it's gonna be extraordinary for gaming. Graphics, um, you know what I'm saying? Everything on here is gonna be really, you know, dead on. Uh, the speakers sound really nice, but it's only a single firing speaker on the bottom. And I just really like how you get a headphone jack IR blaster for controlling electronics. Um, type C for charging, Gorilla Glass 5, really great, great camera setup with a 64 megapixel and the latest software. Now the next phone that I want to talk to about you guys about is the new mobile G5. Now this device amazes me for the price. It offers you um, everything that you need, a case inside. You get your, your charging brick, wall brick, adapters, headphones, things of that nature, all inside the box, which is all included. Um, the, the case on here comes smoky, so it doesn't yellow. I really do like that as well. Now for 150 bucks, we're actually getting a really good handset here. We do have a 6.55 inch display, 720 by 1560 uh, quad camera arrangement with the main camera being a 60 megapixel. You get an eight megapixel for wide angle, two megapixel for depth and two megapixel for portrait, 64 gigabytes of internal um, memory and four gigabytes of RAM. The, you know, this device does have this really nice, the Saturn rings going all the way around it. As you can see, it kind of looks intergalactic. It looks really sophisticated. I really do like that shine that it gives off. Now, another cool thing about the new mobile G5 is it does have face unlock and a fingerprint sensor. So let's just try that out right now. So that was pretty smooth one more time. That was decent. And one last time. All right, so as you can see, that was pretty really quick. Let's try out the fingerprint sensor. You have to actually hit that right in the center and it's gonna be accurate every single time. Um, so not only the display is gonna be plenty, plenty bright for content consumption and social media consumption, but you could do email, you could do videos. Um, the speakers do sound decent. It's not gonna be the best in the world, but you do get expandable storage with SD card slot and you can move your apps to the SD card slot as well. But there's 266 pixels on the display. We do get a really nice um, camera cutout at the top left hand corner, which will house um, your, 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 your camera 
as well for the front, which is going to be a pretty really nice camera as well. So um, this thing has a lot to offer for the price of $150, guys. I really can't emphasize that enough. Um, it's just going to be a really solid device in this price point. And it's just got a really stock system on here, stock Android. Everything loads up really smoothly. You get your um, social media on here. You get uh, everything that you would normally need to do. Great battery, great camera. Now the next device we're gonna be talking about is the Orcatel C21. This device packs a full HD plus display with 398 pixels per inch. You also do get a case in here as well as your SIM remover tool, charging brick and wall adapter as well. Now we do have a plastic frame on here, TFT LCD IPS display. This comes in a plastic material. Uh, fingerprint is going to be located right here on the back um, just like the new mobile G5 and the Redmi Note 8 Pro you do get facial recognition and a fingerprint sensor so print so just really nice so this one does offer the same deal that that is really quick as well you get a really bright display that I want to talk about right now so when you go in here you're going to notice that we do have a lot of features the 6.4 inch display is really beautiful really bright and really um, interactive. You get a um, four gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of internal storage, which is something that I really do like on this device. Accelerometer, gravity sensor, light sensor, proximity sensor as well. And a quad, a triple camera setup, you get the 16 megapixel around back, two megapixel for portrait, three for, um, I'm sorry, 0.3 for macro and two standard. So the 20 megapixel is gonna be on the front. It's gonna definitely be pretty good for taking bokeh. Uh, portraits things of that nature because you can scale the amount of bokeh that you want in the background and it's really detailed so I really do like that you also do get the beauty mode if you want to change the way your face looks you get a macro camera on here as well just a lot of cool features on this device for the price it also comes with Bluetooth 5 which is nice um, that's really cool you also get 4G LTE 4000 milliamp hour battery that charges at 18 watts which is great um, so it's not going to be slow or anything like that. It's definitely going to charge really quickly. Um, so, you know, some people might say it charges slow because they come from like higher end devices, but the audio from the mics, is, you can easily cover it up and the materials do feel a bit cheap, but overall it's a great phone to hold in your hand. The operations are really snappy on this device as well. This device does also have Android 10, but just keep in mind it won't have an app tray, but it does get updated with this little app right here on the top. So if you wanna check for updates every so often, you can do so. Um, but you know, for this to pr price, I mean, you're getting 128 gigabytes of internal storage, which is to me is a, a really good amount of storage for any smartphone under $200. Even, you know what I'm saying, like phones that are more than that don't offer like that amount of storage. So I really think it's pretty cool that they do offer that on here. But like I said, guys, this is gonna be a really good device for $200. And it's gonna have all of your the features that you do love and you know, like you'd like to use. Now the Moto E7 is another one of my favorite devices in 2021. This device offers like this flat feel on the sides. Button placement is really nice. You get a textured volume rocker right here on, I mean, power button, volume rocker above it. Um, you do get the Google Assistant button as well. Headphone jack on this device, micro USB, which is the only thing I don't like, but we do get these audio effects on here as well as um, that headphone jack. These speakers sound really good because you could tailor the sound. I like it on the brilliant treble option, but you could also do extreme bass, bass punch off. And you know what I'm saying? You could tailor it to your liking, but this this audio effects on here, for the price, this is only like $130 right now, but it's a steal at this price. You also do get 64 gigabytes of internal storage on this guy. Um, the Snapdragon 460, four gigabytes of RAM, like I said before, but you also do get a dual camera setup on here, 17, I'm sorry, 720 by 1600. So it's a HD um, plus display at 270, um, pixels per inch so everything on here like i said is snappy it's you're not going to have any issues with the performance um you know i i um barely ran into any issues when i was using it and um it could definitely hold up for like you know what i'm saying like 
everything that I was throwing at, at this guy, it, it just looked really solid overall. I didn't have any issues with it whatsoever. But, um, you know, you do get everything inside the box. Like I said before, you get the 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Now this device does have night vision cameras, um, which look really good. And, um, you know, they look really, really solid, the night vision cameras. So if you're taking photos in the nighttime, um, anything that you take comes to life with this camera, with the night, when you, when you have the night vision mode on, you also do get portrait for a really good bokeh effect and things like that. But I really can't emphasize how good the camera is on here for the, the price of under $200. So it's really a steal, but let's jump into the next device right now. All right, guys. So the next device that I want to talk about right now is the Samsung Galaxy A12. And this device is actually the one I have my main SIM card in. I mean, the A02S, I'm sorry. So this device is um, the one I have my main SIM card in. I just really love the color on this guy. The pictures do come out good when you have enough light. You get three gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, but I would recommend getting the, um, the model that has 64 gigabytes of internal storage versus the lower one. Now this is the, higher one actually this is the 64 gigabyte model so i cap it does have 64 gigabytes four gigabytes of ram on here but i was getting it confused with my moto g power which has the three gigabytes so as you can see the volume does get print um let me show you how the how the volume s sounds on here and pretty decent also the scrolling speeds are nice and so is the viewing angles but not so much because when you tilt it you will notice a little bit of glare so just keep that in mind guys that there will be a slight amount of glare when you tilt the phone but 6.5 inch display 20 by 9 aspect ratio 270 pixels per inch on this guy we do have a really um, decent amount of weight on here also a matte red texture on the back of it and this guy does have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, so super um, battery life on this device as well. Now we do get 15 watts fast, uh, fast charging on this device. And we also, um, the only thing about this device that you should probably keep in mind is it does have the Bluetooth 4.2. So they did dumb down some of the features. The display is dumbed down. The, you know, the processor is dumbed down. We do have a five megapixel front facing camera, which is a little bit low quality as well they did also leave out you know the five the five gigahertz wi-fi on here um so just keep that in mind you you but the the performance on here so far has been absolutely really good for me i haven't had any issues with it um let me see if i can attack something but this is one of my favorite games wolf it plays it without a without a break of a sweat or anything like that so just really solid gameplay on all of these devices for under $200. But let me know what you guys think down below and I'll get right back with you later group. Peace.